While the EU flirted with granting Edward Snowden amnesty, you probably missed that call from your mom because your phone was flying, the world's first whole body PET scanner, and bacteria clothing to cut back on bacteria smell. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where National Cat Day means using some personal hygiene to save your cat from certain death. MIT's Tangible Media Group has unveiled a crazy new kind of interactive material that is grown rather than built. These are biological actuators, aka living bacteria, that can react to your sweat. The whole idea is to make materials more interactive rather than your regular dumb shirt contributing nothing to society. So with bacteria skin materials, the clothing vents open once the dancers start sweating. They've already put similar material in some new balance shoes, so your stinky feet should be a little less obvious, in case you missed that in elementary school. Violets are blue, roses are pink, your feet are big, and they really stink. Still using a GoPro on your drone? Passe. Meet Ethos, the drone you can put your phone in. It's on Kickstarter and for about 200 bucks, you too can sync your phone wirelessly to control it with your Apple Watch. If you don't have that, some other thing I guess. Don't you carry two phones at all times? The inventors are also releasing the drone's API, hoping for more magic to come. And with that, FAA regulations of drones can't come soon enough. Scientists at UC Davis and Berkeley are beginning to build the world's first total body PET scanner, which is a molecular imaging technique often used in diagnosis and research. And taking a cue from NASA, they're naming it Explorer. Wouldn't it be more like internal or something? Which basically means the days of being tortured inside a giant MRI machine will be coming to an end. A PET whole body scanner is a lot faster and would cut down on exposure to radiation. Using it, tissues and organs can be simultaneously imaged with 40 times more sensitivity than current clinical scanners. And finally, YouTuber Alexis Noriega is clearly winning this year's costume contest with these pneumatic articulating wings. They open and close and her tutorial is coming out soon. Please, someone else, make them too. And if you guys have any questions about them, just message me below, and that's it.